Good morning, grade 4. A warm welcome to the English class. I hope you all are doing great today. So let's start a new unit today. Let's start the unit 3. The theme of this unit is music. So in this unit, we'll learn a story and a poem. So the story is Lata Mangeshkar, the Queen of Melody. So have you heard about the legendary singer Lata Mangeshkar, the Nightingale of India, the musical empress who took Indian music to the world stage? So the story is a biographical passage that tells about the life and works of the great singer. So what do you mean by a biography? For example, if it is my biography, it will be my story written by someone else. But if I write my story in my own words, it will be called autobiography. So the story here is a biographical passage about the great singer. So there is a do and learn activity mentioned for the story. All of you please turn to page number 38 in your English reader. Do you see the heading? Do and learn. So here it says you have to sing your favorite song. So all of you may have a favorite song. It may even be a rhyme. So you have to sing your favorite song. You have to record it and send us through Microsoft Teams. So coming back to the story. It's called Lata Mankeshka, the Queen of Melody. And there is a warm-up session mentioned in page number 39. And you see, music and dance are two important components of Indian culture. These famous musicians have taken Indian music to the world stage. Mask the names of the musicians with their pictures. So here you can see a few musicians. The names are also mentioned but they are not in match. You have to match the right picture with the right name. So have a look at the pictures given there and let's read the names given there. Shiv Kumar Sharma. So Shiv Kumar Sharma is a famous music director and a famous Santu player. So you can read more about him and you can match his name with the right picture. Also read about the instrument he is playing. Now the next one Amjad Ali Khan. Amjad Ali Khan is a famous sarod player and he is also a music director. Next Hari Prasad Chaurasia, he is a flautist. The one who plays a flute is called a flautist. He is a famous flautist as well as a music director and Zaki Hussain is a very famous percussionist. So you have to match the right picture with the right names. Now let's get back to the story. Please look at your textbook and listen carefully. It was 28th September 1929, happy day for the Mangeshkar family. She is a firstborn, a baby girl. What shall we name her? Shevanti. Pandit Dinanath Mangeshkar looked fondly at his daughter. Let us call her Hema, said the happy mother. But a few days later, Pandit Dinanath had another idea. He was a classical singer and theatre artist. There was a female character called Latika in a play he was acting in. Shevanti, I want to name the baby Lata. So the baby was named Lata. So here it says about the birth of this legendary singer Lata Mangeshkar. She was born on 28th September 1929. She was the first born child to her parents. Her mother's name is Shevanti and her father's name is Pandit Dinanath Mangeshkar. And Pandit Dinanath Mangeshkar, he was a classical singer as well as theatre artist. So when Lata was born, he wanted to name her Hema. But after a few days, he changed his mind. There was a play that he was acting in and there was a character in the play named Latika. So after this character, Pandit Dinanath wanted to name his daughter as Lata. So this baby, their firstborn child, she was named as Lata. Let's see the rest of the story. Lata showed potential in acting as well as music when she was quite young and started accompanying her father to the studios. At the age of five, she began to act in her father's musical place. The parents also got her admitted to a good school. Pandit Dinanath was surprised to see that the child stopped going to school after her first day. He asked his wife what the matter was. Shevandi couldn't hide a smile. Why don't you ask her yourself? She replied. Lata, 
why have you not been going to school? Pandit Dinanath asked his daughter. Well, Baba, I was only teaching songs to the other children and the teachers taught me. I have decided not to go to school because they won't let me sing. Pandit Dinanath couldn't help but smile at the little girl's determined answer. So what happened? See, from a very young age, Lata started showing her potential in music as well as acting. So when she was just five years old, she started accompanying her father to the studios. To accompany, to accompany means to go along with someone. So when she was just five years old, she would go along with her father to the studios to act in his musical plays. So like we told earlier, Pandit Dhenanath was a theatre artist. So Lata had already started her acting in his musical plays. And like all parents, they got her admitted to a good school. But after the first day, Lata did not want to go to school anymore. And her father wondered why. So he asked his wife, Shevanti, what happened and why Lata wouldn't go to school. Shevanti was smiling at this question and she asked her husband to ask to their daughter himself. So when Pandit Dinanath asked his daughter what was happening, why she wouldn't go to school, you know what Lata replied? Lata replied that she was just teaching songs to her friends and the teacher stopped her from doing it. She was so passionate about music and singing that when the teacher wouldn't let her sing or wouldn't let her teach songs to other children, she did not like to go to school anymore. She was feeling suffocated there. So that's why Lata did not want to go to school anymore. So even Pandit Dinanath felt this answer funny. But he was very happy that his daughter is very determined even at this young age. So let's see what happened next. In 1942, when Lata was just 13, her father died of heart disease. By this time, there were four more children in the family. Meera, Asha, Usha and Pradernath. The family faced great difficulties at this time. A close family friend, Vinayak Damodar Karnataki, came to the family's help. He was the owner of a film company, Navayuk Chitrapat, and helped Lata get started in her career as a singer and actress. So what happened? When Lata was just 13 years old, her father died. So by this time, she had four more siblings. And what were their names? Meena, Asha, Usha and Hridayanar. So after their father died, the family faced great difficulties. They were really struggling. So by that time, a family friend came to their help. And what was his name? His name was Vinayak Damodar Karnataki. So he was a family friend and he helped them a lot. And Vinayak Damodar Karnataki, he was the owner of a film company. And the name of that company is Navayuk Chitrapat. And it was this company that gave Lata a start for her singing and acting career. In the early years, Lata sang for Marathi films. When Vinay's company moved to Bombay, now Mumbai, in 1945, she also shifted to Bombay. She started taking lessons in Hindustani classical music and began recording songs in Hindi. Vinay Damodar Kanadaki died in 1948 and Gulam Haida, a reputed music director, became Lata's mentor and guide. So the film company Navyuk Chitrapad, it gave Lata a start for her singing and acting career. In the early years, initially she was singing only Marathi songs. But the company Navyuk Chitrapad moved to Bombay. Now it's called Mumbai. So when the company moved to Mumbai and that was in 1945, Lata also moved to Mumbai. And at the same time, she started taking lessons in Hindustani classical music. So, by that time, she was also singing songs in Hindi. Lata's first mentor, Vinayak Damodar Karnadik, died in 1948. Gulam Haider, he was another reputed music director. Gulam Haider became Lata's mentor and guide. So, children, this was a humble beginning for Lata Mangeshka in her singing and acting career. So, we'll see the rest of the story. In the next class, all of you have to read the story till here and we'll see the rest of the story in the next class. Till then, bye, take care.